I'm Dr. Kavita Chantala, Clinical Director and Senior Pediatric International Cardiologist at Care Hospitals, Hyderabad. In this video, we will discuss about the signs and symptoms of a ventricular septal defect. Ventricular septal defect is the most common congenital heart defect which is present by birth. It is a hole in the wall between the two lower chambers of the heart called the ventricles. The signs and symptoms of a ventricular septal defect can occur at different times of life. It depends on the size of the ventricular septal defect. The small VSDs may often be asymptomatic, meaning the child may not have any symptoms when the hole is very small. And this can be detected when the doctor listens or auscultates on the chest and finds a heart murmur. So this is a, one of the common ways how a VSD may be picked up. Now there are a moderate VSDs and large VSDs that usually are symptomatic very close to birth. The typical age when the VSDs become symptomatic is between 4 and 6 weeks of age because there are certain changes in the pressure in the lungs. When the pressure in the lung drops that is when the VSD becomes symptomatic because the blood goes from the left side of the heart to the lung through this hole and there is lung congestion which results in symptoms. The typical symptoms you will notice in an infant who has a VSD are rapid breathing, the increased rate of breathing is noticed and visible movement of the chest or abdomen is noticed when the child is breathing rapidly or your nasal uh, flaring may also be noticed. So rapid breathing is a very common symptom. You can have feeding difficulty with a large VSD. So the babies are unable to feed because it is like a huge exercise for them to be able to breastfeed. So they often take breaks when they are feeding which we call it as suck rest cycle. So the baby sucks for a little while take some rest and then sucks again. So this is again a very common symptom of a significant sized VSD and uh, the parent may notice that you know the child is unable to feed like before or is not able to take as much milk as the baby was doing before. In addition to that when they are feeding you can notice some you know sweating on the forehead or their breathing becomes very rapid when they are feeding. So this is a very common symptom that you know the mother notices and brings the child to us for further evaluation. The other symptom is a poor weight gain because the baby is not able to feed well and because having a large hole expends a lot of energy for the baby, the babies are unable to put on adequate weight. So if you plot them on the growth chart, they are often dropping off their growth chart. So that is again a very important symptom. Then a little older child, say an infant can have multiple chest infections. So because the blood from the left side of the heart is going into the lung through this hole. The lungs are often wet. So a wet lung is, is a nidus for infection. So they develop what we call lower respiratory tract infections or pneumonias frequently. So these children have frequent cough, fever, respiratory distress and may end up seeing a pediatrician who treats them with antibiotics or they may end up even getting frequent hospitalization. So anybody that has frequent chest infections, we always want to exclude the presence of a heart disease. Then uh, usually another symptom of heart disease which is blueness or cyanosis doesn't happen in a VSD in a young child. The older children who are not operated for many years they may develop some blueness but blueness or cyanosis is typically not a symptom of VSD. So the most common way the child presents to us is either with a murmur that was detected by a doctor in case of a small VSD or the child is brought with complaints of poor weight gain, rapid breathing, feeding difficulty. So these are the common symptoms of a VSD. Thank you.